All right, this little video will show you how to clean out your carburetor. It'll work on a Subaru, Honda, Briggs, any modern small engine. Um, so what you want to do first is remove the shroud, tank, fuel line, and then clean out your carburetor. The reason why is you can have gunk in your tank, fuel line, and carburetor, not just your carb. So this one was a little tricky to get to, but there are three bolts that hold on the Subaru, you know, EX13, EX17, EX21 engine. Um, sometimes engines have four. But you want to remove those bolts and remove the hose clamp that holds on the fuel line to the carburetor. Sometimes it's stuck, so you want to use your screwdriver and get some leverage and pry it off. Uh, this is what I was talking about up here. As you notice, I'm using the screwdriver to pry it off rather than yanking on it. That has a better results. This is a, called a union. It acts as a fuel filter. keeps the gunk in the engine from going down into your carburetor. This is the fuel filter I'm pulling out, but once you get the tank off, there's, there might be junk inside of it, so you pour a little gas in there. Notice this is outside, just a tiny bit of gas. Shake it all around and let the, the gunk just fall out to the ground. I did it a few times. Uh, if your fuel hose is cracked, you want to replace it. If not, just spray it out with some carb cleaner, dump a little gas through it, call it good. This is the air cleaner and the air cleaner housing. It had grease caked inside, so I sprayed some engine degreaser on it, sprayed it out. 10 minutes later with the garden hose. Uh, you want to replace your filter there. These are the throttle linkages. You want to make sure those are all good. That's the breather tube. You want to clean that out as well. And then you want to remove the linkages from the throttle butterfly. There's usually just two, a little spring and a little rod. And your carburetor slides right off. So now to the carb cleaning time. This is the bowl and the nut that holds on the bowl. The bowl holds fuel in it. And that's usually where you have varnish buildup. Uh, I'm using a brass brush to clean off the gunk on metal parts and nylon for any plastic parts. So that's the bowl, you spray it out. You know, you might have to use your brass brush a little bit, but you want to make sure it's super clean. <clears throat> All right, on to the next thing, which is the cup. Uh, this is a little tricky. It has looks like rust and varnish built up in it, so I'll just use a Q-tip carb cleaner, spray it out. Right here is the float hinge rod. You twist and pull at the same time. Try not to hit your camera. Anyway, so that's the float and the needle. And this is the main fuel jet. Sometimes on the center pedestal, you'll have the fuel jet inside. On the Subaru, it's a little different. This is the inside of the main pedestal. That's where the emulsion tube is, and usually the, the main jet. And then on top, you have your idle pilot. All three of these things need to be cleaned out meticulously. Sometimes you can use a little piece of wire and carb cleaner to clean out every single hole inside. So on to the next. You've got your idle pilot and air bleed jet. You've got your main air bleed jet and the center pedestal. And you know, look where all the, the stuff is going. Now that's the main idea here. You've got your fuel inlet pipe as well and your inlet needle seat. So make sure you clean all that out really well. If you need to rewind this video and look where the fuel is going, that's, that's your key indicator there and make sure there's no varnish buildup. You put all your linkages back together, slide your carb back on. If your gaskets are bad, replace them. Make sure your throttle linkages are good. And most importantly, add some fuel stabilizer to your fuel so you don't run into this problem again. Put everything together, put it on choke, start the engine. Looks like it's idling good. Revs up, has a nice throttle response. And you're set. That's it. Congratulations. If you like this video, comment, rate, and subscribe.